and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Ayara's Citadel over in Best of One. This is our last, uh, this is the last list that we played for Ayara's Citadel, and we're gonna go ahead and try this over in Best of One today. We got our Best of One Day Monday stream happening right now. Um, as you can see, I have the full 75 here. So if you want to play the deck in best of three, you know, you can play it. We played this about a week ago. And if you, if you enjoyed the deck, you want to see me play it in best of three, you know, if you're watching on YouTube, just go on over to the videos tabs with all the videos. Look for about a week ago, look for a Yara Citadel, um, over there. Um, one last thing is that Field of the Dead was banned today. It's legal in on Arena until the 24th, and with it gone, you really don't need Ashiok in the sideboard. So this can be replaced with um, something else. You know, like whenever you kind of see whatever's in the new format, whatever you want uh, uh, to have in the sideboard, Ashiok can be replaced there. But all right, uh, so our deck is all about draining our opponent out. We're using a Yara triggers every. Uh, black creature that we play, including a Yara, then after a Yara, the, our opponent loses a life, we gain a life. Priest of Forgotten Gods, our opponent loses two life with sacrificing that. And then, of course, we have Cauldron Familiar, make them lose a life, gain a life with the Witch's Oven combo. So, you know, that, that's what our deck's about. We, we're about dra draining our opponent out, machine gunning them down. We obviously can get some attack damage in. Also, we want to try to get some chip shot damage in early with these creatures and then set that up for the late game. Uh, Bola Citadel is our other way to drain them out, um, where if we get Bola Citadel in play, get a Yara in play, our deck is really cheap. You know, all these ones, twos, and threes drops. <laughs> Look at this this curve thing here. That's that's pretty good. Does, are they all the same? Yeah, just 11 of each. That's cool. Um, and, you know, so we can, we can keep casting stuff with Citadel because it doesn't cost us very much life. And especially with so much of the stuff draining our, our opponent, like they're losing life, we're gaining life back. And then it's a lot easier to just keep draining them out. Um, and then we can, if we do that, we can also activate the Citadel. So each opponent loses 10 life. I'm going with Fable Passages in here, even though we, we really don't want to play Fable Passage turn one, two, or three, because we want to um, curve out with our ones, twos, and threes. But Fable Passage is really nice to have in the late game. It pairs so well with Bola Citadel of, you know, being a land to play off Citadel and then being able to reset the, the top of the library with fetching and everything. And plus it also thins the deck a little bit. Obviously it's not much, but the more, the, just every little bit you can you can thin the deck of a, getting a land out. When you have Citadel, you want only, you know, you only want spells with Citadel. You do not want to be uh, revealing land. So Fable Passage helps in that way too. All right, so we're going to play seven games over here in Mythic with Ayara Citadel and Best of One. Let's see how it does. You know, so this deck can be Best of Three or Best of One, depending on what you want. We've played in Best of Three a couple of times. We're going to play it in Best of One today. Yeah, I like this deck. I, I think it's fun to play. I like this deck. I like winning and not having to do like the whole attacking stuff. Um, Wizzy says, every time I get Citadel with this deck, my opponent scoops. <laughs> yeah, Citadel is just a really fun card to play because, you know, you get to do some really crazy stuff with Citadel. So that's a fun card to play. Uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, Pioneer looks really cool. I wish Pioneer was on Arena. <clears throat> with it not being on Arena, I probably won't play it, but... It does look really cool. Yeah, CV Sack just in time for Mono Black. If I only had one Murderous Rider, I, I don't think I'd be using it here. But we have a backup.
Got a backup for that eagle. Then the duck. Then the duck. Really don't need to draw more swamps. No, they had a backup eagle. That is bad. The kind of good news is they didn't play a land. They're being stuck on mana a little bit. Uh, Miscreant's awesome. One mana, two, two, draw card. Draws on that land, so it's just free. And unfortunately, this looks like a loss. Okay, okay. Yeah, I wish I would have saved the, the two Mercer for the two Eagles. They had a backup Eagle. That was unfortunate. Hmm. So we do not gain life now. Because the Murderous Rider's damage is prevented. I'm I'm considering sacrificing like like this token and just get, and just sacking the food and just gaining three life with the food, so that we go to three instead of just one. If we do the cauldron familiar trick, we go to one, but we could do this: go to three, attack with murderous rider is five. But then still another food is just eight. Well, I guess I just, I mean. I guess we're just going this route. Oh, well, that's makes everything a moot point. Hey, what's up, rank one? Thank you so much for that sub there. With field gone, we'll need more Hawkeye and Puppy. Do you need more Hawkeye and Puppy? Hawkeye's just napping. I'll go grab Puppy. We haven't had a puppy on stream for in a while. Let me go, go grab a puppy. Puppy. Puppy's here. Oh, girl, puppy. leg got caught sorry that was a loud shriek i don't know if i've ever heard puppy shriek that loud her leg got caught on her mind whenever i 
I moved her up. I'm sorry. Yeah, tire screeching. That was tire screeching. Oh, I'm so sorry. I really hope we weren't like listening in headphones or something. <clears throat> Who's the better magic player, Hawkeye or Puppy? Probably Hawkeye. Yeah, Hawkeye's the better magic player, but Puppy's still learning. Hawkeye's mastered top decking. Ooh, main phase infuriate. Oh, you're, you're, wow. You're watching 7.1 sur surround sound headphones. Certain a car was coming through my wall. Oh man, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah, Puppy needs some emotes. Yeah, I need a Puppy emote for sure. Ginger Brute. Oh, why didn't I... Oh, that thing's blockable. They didn't activate it. I should have blocked the ginger root with my Ayara. I just kind of assumed that thing was unblockable for how they attacked like that. Ugh. Puppy's always camera shy in here, though. Destroy target colorless non-land permanent. They can destroy my oven. Citadel. Puppy's just trying to leave. She doesn't like sitting here in front of like all this stuff too much. There you go. Um, yeah, I guess back up a Yara. We'll keep the one that we had already. That's just two triggers. Like we pay one life for the two triggers. I mean, I guess I could. I guess like I guess I could have witches ovened. Maybe I should have done that, it's just Witch's Oven for the backup of Yara. We only get one trigger then, but... Oh yeah. Puppy is amazing. He's so fast. I knew you needed my... This is just gonna be bad for you. She loves to go outside and run, run up, run up and down the mountain where we're at now. Before we used to live like in the, I used to live in the country where she'd run out there. Ow. 
All right, so Reaver is just free. They cost two, but then it's two Ayara triggers. Activate Citadel, and they die. All right, we are at one and one. Good job, puppy. One and zero with puppy. The undefeated pupper. The undefeated pupper. <laughs> if Ginger Brute becomes a part of a popular deck, would it be a cookie cutter deck? Oh, that's pretty good. All right, so this is kind of the problem with Witch's Oven. You know, like, this is why we're not playing four Witch's Oven for the for the person who's asking why are we not playing four Witch's Oven? Because like on its own, it looks pretty bad. It doesn't really do anything. Probably shouldn't be keeping this, but well, hopefully we draw a cat. Bubby, can you help us draw a cat? <laughs> Bubby acts like she's in. She acts like she's at the like the doctor's office or something, like the vet's office. Which, speaking of that, your yearly vaccines are coming up next month. I gotta set an appointment for you. You excited to go in there and get your yearly shot? <clears throat> yeah, Brawl should be available the 24th. That card's annoying to deal with. So I was planning on using I was planning on using Priest to give us like the extra mana to play the Citadel. So that hurts. We really need to find a Yara. Revel with your king, wild and sovereign and free. It's not poison, trust me. Why is Oko so good? Yeah, I mean, Oko's just gonna turn my Citadel into a 3 3. So 
I wanted to keep my life total high. This is why I did the blocking. Uh, because I can't... Yeah, the 3-2 the is the only thing that can block the questing beast. The 2-1 the cannot block questing beast. Alright, so if I play Citadel right now, we only go until we hit another land. If I wait a turn to play Citadel, we can go until we hit two lands, basically. I think I have to wait a turn, honestly. Because, you know, like, since since the Oko's there, we have to get the most out of it as we can. Yeah, so we have to get we have to get the most we can out of Citadel before it gets elked. I will protect the virtue of this world. Yeah, questing beast. Pretty good. I mean we can't it is possible for us to kill our opponent this next turn. We have to get very lucky, obviously. The land fights for us. But it is possible. Especially with my opponent not attacking with very much stuff. Hawkeye's game. Gotta help me out, puppy. Gotta help me out. into my face and put on your true shape. All right, come on, Ayara. Here we go. Come on, Ayara. Off the top, we need a lot of creatures. Ugh. We need Ayara first, though. No, not another Citadel. Uh, that ends this turn, at least. At least we got backup Citadel for next turn. They oak this Citadel. They elk this Citadel. If anyone could steal Christmas from the Grinch, it's Mr. Oko. I am so glad they did that pre-combat. Now we have a 3-3 to block with. I invite with. you to change your ways. You know, from, from there, saying maybe they want to do that pre-combat to have um, to make sure that I, I don't have like instants that I'm casting
Rise, my elemental friend. Only attacker? No, don't attack with those. All right. You block there, you block there, you block there. Could block with gutter bones also. But no, I'd rather have gutter bones in play. Need to take zero damage. We need all the life possible. All right, come on, Ayara. Come on, Ayara. It's called Ayara's Citadel for a reason. Uh. <sighs> it's not helping, pup. That was really the, the worst that could possibly happen. We, like, we only got through one land. Or, sorry, we got, we got through zero lands. Like, that was literally the, the one card, like, anything else. Like, even a land, you know, digs us farther and everything. That was really, like, the only thing that could have possibly been bad for us is seeing an, the, the third Citadel. There really wasn't anything... Anything else that would have been that bad for me. Harness the elements. No, don't attack with stuff. Darn it. I liked it better when they didn't attack with stuff. I mean, you don't really expect to have all three Citadels up early like this. But this, this deck really does rely on drawing Citadel. I've, you know, we've played this deck a lot of with, like, two Citadels and, you know, not finding the Citadels where you're just trying to find one. Really want to draw the first Citadel. This is just pretty unlucky having all three here. Gaze into my face and put on your true shape. Ayara. Um. There's Ayara. We have a chance. We have a chance. Ugh. So one, two, th so this is just 10, 
non-land permanent, so it counts itself. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, one permanent away from killing them. One permanent away from killing them. Turns out if I just didn't block... No, because we got all those things that I blocked. I could have got them all back. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, I can use castle. I, I take... It cost me, what, three life? I guess we got to play this thing first. So I guess we just... We're not going to be able to get the gutter bones. We're not going to have the mana. <clears throat> we're going to have to make it so it's only two life. So we have to just hit... We have to hit three things off of, off of the top now. Uh, this deck's not, not cooperating. That's why hitting that third citadel was so bad because, you know, how we didn't hit any lands first before that, that third citadel. That's why it was so bad that we didn't... Because we need to at least get one land out of, off of the deck, and we didn't get that. Yeah, cause even if it was land to then third citadel, that would have been better if we could have displaced one of these lands. The land will help us find a way. <laughs> How many gems for cooperating shuffler? <laughs> <clears throat> Need your help, Hub. Need your help. <laughs> Gotta go, Puppy. She does it. She's trying to sink down. Power surges through these lands. Behold, nature's true power. Alright. So much dog hair. What's mine is yours, and yours is mine. Oh, hey, that, that Oko card looks pretty good. So we lose three life. I could lose four life if I block with the Paradise Druid. You know, with Midnight Reaper. We'll do that. Hey, Asthmetic Funk with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much there, Funk. I appreciate that. That is our 13th sub of the day. All right, we need to find a Yara. We need a new one. They took my other one. Yay! Okay, we got a chance. It's not a good chance, but it's a chance. Again. <clears throat> they get what? They can crack one food, so they can go up to 17. That won't really matter if, if we win this. Basically, we need to get 10 permanents and play for Citadel. Which, there's there's a real chance. Uh, 
That's six. That's seven. That's eight. That's nine. That's ten. Uh, I'm one mana short, though. That should do it. After Wizard! 30 months of awesomeness. Thank you so much, After Wizard. Uh, <laughs> MTG A is, arena, is lagging. Arena is lagging there. So 14th sub of the day. Okay, so we're going to play you. Go up to two. Go up to three. This is just non-land permanents, right? So they can be tokens, yeah. I'm going to sack this to make a treasure or make a food, whatever. Basically, the point is so that this makes two creatures now. Again, otherwise it was just going to make one creature. <clears throat> the puppy's name is... That's, that's puppy's name is Puppy. Hawkeye's smell in my hand, like, ooh, what's that? Hawkeye's like, what's that bad puppy smell? So it only gains one this time. We did it! We did it! The machine gun deck! Each opponent loses 10 at life. We did it! That did not look good for us for a while there. But we did it. Okay. That was pretty sweet. <laughs> Should have played Midnight Reaper to draw cards. Hey, Schnapps. Thanks for that resub. Thank you so much there, Schnapps. Yeah, that was, that was a pretty amazing game right there. And... That was awesome. Yeah, we're, we're losing frames. we lose losing frames. We don't have all of them. All right. I'm going to be right back while this is starting up. I'm going to wash my hands because they smell like puppy. Hawkeye doesn't like it. I'm going to be right back.
don't meow. Meow, 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 meow. Ah. Let's think about resetting arena. It's been like 40 minutes since the last time we reset arena. Please do not have Oko. Please don't have Oko. Because Oko turns a Yara into a 3-3 three, three, and then the game's just kind of over. Yay, no Oko. That's unfortunate. Yeah, Don, we won against the food deck. Hmm. I guess, like, Frilled Mystic? What are we shocking in here for? Nightpack Ambusher? This looks like a Frilled Mystic deck. Yeah, Oko Flash. Maybe by playing the, the land first. Yeah, they're less worried about what my hand could look like. All right, we just got a machine gun them down. Six life to go. We got a lot of early chip shot damage in. No, Hawkeye is actually after the university. Um, I'm from Iowa. The Iowa Hawkeyes, they're my favorite university. Hey, good job, Jokers. Made it to Diamonds. Way to go. Good job. Probably should just play this other gutter bones first. In case of counter magic. Yeah, I should play the other gutter bones first.
Yeah, another wolf is bad. Then we don't get to kill, like, the first, you know, like, would have been better to be able to kill this wolf. Yeah, the, I guess this goose. Yeah, they're, they're definitely ahead because of this goose. Come on, resolve. Resolve. Oh, here we go. Here we go. What's my life total? 13? Can't see it because Hawkeye is sitting in front. That was it. That was the card. Ugh. This hurts. I, so I can draw a card with a Yara, but honestly, going down to nine, as we saw last game, is not that big of a deal. I'd rather save the draw card for if we hit a land pocket where we can't continue on at all. Ugh. Three is kind of rough. Because that also means that if I draw a card, I have to lose a life again. So down to six. I guess I have to sacrifice Midnight Reaper. Perfect. Great card. All right, well, I guess we have to stop there. We got them down to three. Because of the goose. Ah, uh, thanks, Jokers. Thank you. Okay, so we have to stop there. We were. We are two permanent short. But yeah, obviously that other citadel really hurt. We have enough blockers. <clears throat> so we should be good to go. Okay, can you move so I can see what's going on on the screen? You're taking up like the whole computer screen. But yeah, we, we should have this. I don't I don't think it's possible for us to lose from here. I guess if they counter midnight no. If they have like bounce a Yara and counter a Yara. Nope. They do not have a counter spell. Alright, we got this. Because, you know, like, Priest makes them lose two life also. I'll just do that right now. 
Shouldn't have waited on the food. All right, yeah, I think we should reset arena. We're going to be able to do a lot of damage that turn, though. GG's. Give me Hawkeye. GG's, Hawkeye. Yeah, I'm sorry, Nub. Yeah, we have been playing some sweet games with this deck. <laughs> this has been fun to play, for sure. Hey, it's okay, Jokers. It's all good. <sighs> like, does that... So, like, would that help? Like, if I get... You know, if I get better hardware, does that help Arena? Like, would that, would that help? You know, if I get, like, a new new PC and stuff? We have a mirror-ish type match. All about that sacrifice. Whenever we were talking about the other day, people were saying that it doesn't really matter if you get better, like a better computer and everything, that ar Arena is just always laggy. Yeah, this is this is definitely a pretty good budget deck IRL, like a paper wise, like paper prices. I think that like it's it's a lot of rares though, wild card wise. It's not the best budget deck for wild card considerations. Of course they get to sack and then my murderous rider just goes to the graveyard, but I think we gotta get Mayhem Devil out of here. Because of all the stuff that Mayhem Devil can do. You have a $2,000 PC and you still lag in Arena. Yeah, it's a memory leak thing. They they talked about it um, in the last, in like the October State of the Program update. They talked about how the performance issues were something that they really wanted to um, fix in the coming months. And that was like their number one priority before, like, you know, instead of like trying to keep adding new features, they really wanted to fix performance problems. No, it's, it's not really the. The uploading to YouTube also like I've I've you know seen like if I if I'm not uploading or if I am up uploading if there's any difference and there's really not um, you know like while this has been happening like I'm not uploading right now like the last couple of games I haven't been uploading like why it's been why it's been bad.
the Fable Passage one is just, it's kind of too much. It's like the sound goes on for a really long time. Another kitty cat. I can make them lose 10 life right now. With the Citadel, but that doesn't kill them. Don't think I use Citadel. Right now. So it couldn't wouldn't quite kill my opponent. I don't want to kill their Dreadhorde Butcher. And let, you know, like, attack with gutter bones, trade with Dreadhorde Butcher, then Butcher kills my priest. I don't want that to happen. Alright, so I'm glad they're, so they're not sacking a, a food. I'm glad about that. So all I have to do is 13, which is very easy. Which we have with Priest, Citadel, and Familiar. We got 13 here, so. GG. Yeah, we have two ovens. My opponents think they, they can sacrifice stuff. They're like, look at all this cool sacrificing that I'm doing. Citadel sacrificing like the the entire city. All right, four and one. G 
GG's. All right, so we're gonna play two more matches. Two more games here. Hopefully get to a 6-1 like the other two decks. <laughs> so much cat and dog hair on me now. Double Citadel. I guess we do have two Midnight Reapers. We gotta draw one land, but then you know the Midnight Reaper should be drawing us some more cards. <laughs> Thanks, Iweezy. Yeah, this deck is awesome. I agree. Uh, if I play Cottage now, I'm definitely playing Reaper on three. That's what I want. It's a gruel deck. So Yara blocks a robber of the rich very well. Not block that thing very well, though. The deck's not, it's not super easy to pilot. Ah, it's a beautiful day for chaos. It's, it's it? not the easiest to pilot. But it's not too bad either, though. Ravnica deserves its demise. Like your old mouth and no hands. This is where I would have liked the cottage to put this Yara back. Boo. You, want our style? you got it. We won't answer to other guilds. Kill one of my creatures with first strike there. But then the other one kills the Fervent Champion. We draw an extra card. Gets us closer to the next Ayara. Gosh, that costs five life. I don't know if I want to keep paying more life, honestly. Yeah, I could pay two life to play this Reaver. Oh, oh wait. Darn it, I, I had lethal. If I just attack them for four, they're down to ten. I didn't realize they were at fourteen. Ugh, I had lethal. 
Yeah, if I just attack them for two, they go down to 10, I play this thing, I have 10, I sack to Citadel. I had lethal. Good thing I didn't go down any farther. Oh wait, would I have would I have died to Midnight Reaper first though? Actually, if I would have sacrificed everything, I might have died to Midnight Reaper first. I am so glad. I am so glad they blocked Midnight Reaper. Yeah, yeah, the Midnight Reaper would have killed me. So I did not have lethal. I do now, though. Thank you for blocking the Midnight Reaper. Risky attack. The much safer attack would have been to just attack with the 2-3 lifelinker. They block that. My match was good. Um, that would have been the much safer thing. Just to, just to block that, gain 2 life, leave the Midnight Reaper back. They could have blocked their questing beast. But, you know, again, they could have had just removal for my 3-2 and then I would have died. Get them, kitties. Oh. Basically, Gutter Buns is two power. That's why I played it over these other things. How was your match? Thanks, guildmates. Yeah, it's all Simic all day. I don't I don't really like where our hands at here though. We don't have any of our powerful stuff. And they, you know, have turn you know, turn one. Accelerator, turn two, accelerator. I think this one's going to be a loss. Yep. Looks like they're they're gonna get us this time. We'll get a five two though. Still, awesome day today here. You know we went five hundred with the budget, five hundred with the budget deck, and then went six one six one five two. That's pretty awesome. Get them. Okay, so I need uh, three of y'all to go attack over there. Y'all go attack over here.
yeah, you can find all the lists here. The the budget mono blue it had. I I played four mythics. I played four copies of Brazen Borrower, the mythic. Go extinct. But besides that, everything else was common or uncommon. Yep, and you can check out the YouTube page for all for the the, the matches if you want to see the the Chandra deck. About me is absolute nonsense. The Chandra and Sultai Adventures, both of those were really cool. Check those out over on YouTube. They're up right now. Gaze into my face and put on your true shape. Come on, deck. No! So close. We had to hit three. We had to hit three permanents, so it was going to be tough. But if we hit three permanents, yeah. Because if we had hit three permanents, we could have activated Citadel, and they they would have died. You know, we had the twelve lives, so it was basically just three any three non bullet Citadel cards in a row. I have survived Nico Bolas, and I will survive you. This will be fun to watch. Whoa! They didn't they didn't turn One Citadel and all your into a three three. Gone. And now we're doing it. Now they die. They didn't turn Citadel into a 3-3. We can keep going. I should have sacked the Orzhov Enforcer. That would have been lethal by sacking the Orzhov Enforcer because that would have been another creature for a Yara without, without the Citadel trigger. Um... No, all right. So yeah, I could have had it without the, the Citadel trigger by sacking the Enforcer because we had a, a cat in the chamber. Oko's not Broko if you don't use Oko correctly. Hmm. <laughs> Todd playing with his Simic food. <laughs> I was playing with my Simic food there. What happens if you have Midnight Reaper in play? You die. Basically, like the midnight, the midnight reaper triggers happen before the citadel trigger happens, because you know, like you do, like citadel, you sack ten permanents, lose ten life, but then in response, all these, all the, like you know, basically once you do that, sacrificing is part of the cost. The sacrifice happens, then all the midnight reaper triggers go on the stack, and so like the midnight reaper triggers, you lose life, draw cards first, and then citadel trigger happens. No, but the reaper, the reaper draw, like the reaper is awesome all the other times like it was so good for us like throughout this whole league of just you know all, all the other creatures dying and us drawing cards and getting enough you know being able to hit enough land drops to play citadel and everything like that um so there we go uh, thanks noxious girl thank you so much 
Okay, so yeah, that was that was really sweet. I thought we were gonna lose that. They didn't Oko my Citadel. You know, I top decked the Citadel, which was awesome, but then we didn't top you know, but then we didn't draw anything else. It was sad. But then they didn't Oko the Citadel and then we finished them off after that. Yeah, good day of work today. A lot better than yesterday. <laughs> Alright, but anyway, that's Ayara's Citadel. Pretty awesome deck here. And it works in best of one also. And that's what we're doing today. So yeah, great record. So if, if you like best of one, check out these decks. They all did pretty good. Guildmates with a Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much there, Guildmates. All right, for those of you watching later on on YouTube, please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. For those of you here in Twitch chat, there's the link to the YouTube channel. You can check out the other decks that we played it today also. Um, also, please leave comments on the YouTube channel. I always really like seeing the comments. You know, let me know how everything's going. If you're trying the decks yourself, um, let me know how they're going for you, you know, if you're struggling with anything uh, like that. Uh, what rank did we end up with? Uh, 357. Yeah, so we got the, the old 357 there, which makes which makes sense because our deck kind of machine guns people down. It's, it's not really like magnum people down, but, you know, close enough there. Thanks, I Wizzy. Um, anyway, also... Uh, la last thing, of course, uh, if you're enjoying the streams and would like to help support me being a full-time streamer, please check out my Patreon page. For those of you on YouTube, I put a link here. It's $3 a month. Um, that's about two and a half cents per video I put out on YouTube. So it's not very much. Um, you know, $3 a, a month is like, you know, basically like a tip at, at a restaurant. Um, so check it out over there. And you can uh, you can see my written content up there. I'm going to be putting blogs blog posts up you know, two to three times a week over there. Sideboard guides as well. If there's any decks that you want sideboard guides, if you're a Patreon member, let me know what decks you want sideboard guides for, and I'll post them up over there. All right, good question. What was the favorite deck for today? Um, honestly, I liked them all. Honestly, like this, I actually, I mean, I like the mono blue, the budget mono blue deck too. Like these are all fun decks for me to play. Um, I mean, I want to say Chandra Tribal, but this deck was a lot of fun too. And I was, I was really happy with the Sultai adventures that we put together there. I do not, Schmidt. Nope, not anymore. I do not. Yeah, Citadel, so good. If it wasn't for Oko turning into 3-3s, three but maybe you play against an opponent that doesn't turn into a 3-3, three three, and then your life's better. Um, anyway, there we go. That's it. That's a Yara Citadel. So, thank you so much for watching. If you're over there on YouTube, and I'll see you for the next video.